Hello there and welcome to Bow Beats. My name is Bo, and today we're checking out a new Ableton pack from Wave Alchemy. They are also sponsoring the video. Thank you so much for that. This new pack contains not one, not ten, but 14 classic drum machines. But how many samples of the classics do you really need? To be honest, I have thousands of samples of classic drum machines already, but there is something special about having them organized in an Ableton pack like this. It's quite convenient. And this pack also features some unique level of control. So you could basically use it with your push to and create sort of an analog drum machine inside of Ableton Live. So if that sounds exciting to you, let's go and check it out. So this pack here contains a bunch of meticulously sampled classic drum machines. We're talking thousands of samples. Besides having the full kits, you also have light versions, which are quicker to load. And what really sets this pack apart from many others is the fact that they've sampled the classic drum machines at every possible knob position. There's also different variations of the kits, for example tape versions where it has been sampled to different tape machines. And you can control and automate stuff like tone and tape select, which basically lets you scan through a vast number of samples. You of course also have access to the individual samples. So a kit contains an entire classic drum machine, but it's also possible to create your own custom kit using the modules. So taking for example an 808 kick and combining it with say a snare from the Lindrum and a 707 snare. I also mentioned a round robin function. Basically, on the analog drum machines, they've tried to emulate the fact that each hit sounds a little different. So each time you trigger, for example, the kick drum, it will play a different sample, cycling through, in this case, five different samples, round robin style. It's a subtle difference, but the kind that adds up. Let's start by listening to a classic. Here's the 808. Now if we solo the kick, we can take a look at some of the unique controls. These controls are interesting because you're scanning through multiple samples. And the same goes for pitch. You're not pitch shifting one sample, you're changing the actual sample. And each sample has slightly different controls depending on how it's been sampled. So this of course gives you a lot of control when you wanna shape your drum sound. And using this pack with push 2 is very intuitive, so here I've loaded a new drum kit and let me show you some of the custom controls. So for the kick here, I've selected different versions of tape per step. These are actually unique recordings, so different samples. We also have the slot parameter, which randomizes just slightly pitch, panning, filter cutoff, and volume to sort of emulate that a classic drum machine doesn't sound exactly the same on each hit. 
Then we have random panning. And we could automate tape select here as well for this kit. We're already hearing a lot of subtle variation to the sound. Then I've added some toms. For each of these samples you can have different tape selects, so they will sound a little different. Let's add a bit of bass. But before we get to the finished beat, we're gonna take a little detour and I'm gonna show you another really useful feature of this pack. Namely, creating your own custom kits out of the modules. This lets you freely combine drum sounds from different kits and offers some unique controls. So here I've created my own drum rack. And used it to create this little demo here. So to create your own drum rack, you just drag and drop the drum rack and then you go into user library and you look up modules and then you can pick from whatever kicks, snares, hi-hats you want from this pack. So here I've layered two kicks and it's, yeah, it's sounding awful now, but don't worry, it'll sound better in a moment. Let's add something bassier. The modules make it very convenient to take sounds from different drum machines and combine it into a drum machine of your own. So last in this video we're getting back to the song that I was working on and after I played my demo I'll show you how to install the pack.
installation is quite simple. I just go to the user library, click show in finder, then I just take the drum kits and I move them into the user library. I do the same with the drum modules into the user library and the MIDI patterns. When it comes to samples, I just take the Wave Alchemy folder and drop it into my samples folder. All in all, I think this is a well-structured pack. It's really deep. The samples sound really good. It's nice to have them easily accessible as individual samples as well. However, there's one negative that I want to bring up and I guess it's a negative depending on how you see it. Kits in the pack can actually be very slow to load because of how many samples they're using per kit. Now they do have the light kits, they load faster, but if you want to you know, get the full experience, you, you have to load the full kits and that can take a little while. It's nothing too bad, but it should be noted. It goes to show how deep this pack is because you have so many different samples for just one kit. Being able to change it up and change the sound just like you would on a classic analog drum machine. So are you interested in this pack? Let me know in the comment section if you want to check them out. There's a link in the description as well. And yeah, have a great day. Talk to you later.